Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Meredith Mindrose. I'm a universal healer and a peace visionary. And today, this is my journal entry. And we are going to talk about... Um, you will learn so much about others when you know their way to intimidate you is a telltale of their own biggest fears. So... Um, if you follow my channel, you know that the previous video I made is talking about the demon of intimidation. And this demon of intimidation is a very sneaky, tricky, um, very hidden, invisible um, type of entity. And it's a, it's a form of consciousness, it's a form of um, a, a spirit like a energy of a spirit or an entity that uh, convulses from within the deepest, the backest, and the deepest part of your throat and heart chakra. Um, it's like a, it keeps you on a choke hold. It keeps you speechless. It keeps you um, in a frozen mode. So you know there's a tree... There's three types of mode for people who are triggered um, survival instincts. So there is one is the freeze or frozen in fear in place. Number two is fawning, which is to be idle, to be starstruck, or the energy of like a, the deer in a headlight. The deer that is looking at a headlight, so they're stunned they are uh, starstruck or they are what did i say in the first beginning they are like they feel it was very bizarre that they stop in their tracks okay so it's like deer in the headlights number three is the flight the flight or the fight or maybe there's four frozen fawning fight or flight or run or flee you know so, um, this intimidation energy is a grooming tactic, is a technique that sociopath and psychopath uses to groom their target and victim so they can never run away, so they can never find security, so they can never find relief, so they can never um, get any ability to release themselves from the fear. To release themselves from the tension. To release themselves from the approaching doom. So when you are fawning like a deer in the headlight, it is hard for you to, um, to run away. Because the approaching damnation or the approaching doom, the feeling of dread comes all over you like you are fucking helpless like you are a fucking small rat about to be stepped on by a grown fucking grizzly bear man that you're like an end being squashed by some big feet okay so the approaching damnation the dreadful feeling that rushes through you to cause you to panic fear feel helpless feel feel trapped that is a a form of like a demonic possession it it may not apply to everything but i'm sharing here if you are surrounded by toxic people or if you are with a toxic manipulative sneaky fucker person what i can share is that you are groomed you are brainwashed you are conditioned you are if you if you were raised in a very toxic environment right the feeling of dread the feeling that makes you lethargic sluggish makes your heart race, makes you sweat, makes you panic, 
makes you feel like doom and gloom, makes you feel helpless, makes you feel um, um, unabil- no ability to find security, to find relief. It's like this flush, this, um, there is a type of um, hormones in your body. Let me remember, it's not dopamine, that's the good stuff. It's not serotonin, it's the good stuff. It also, let, let me check. Um, what is, so there's the stress hormones, I forgot what it's called. Um, when you're stressed. You get panic. I, I can't remember, guys. Maybe later on I'll remember. So there's a stress hormones that rushes through your blood. Um, I remember... Okay, so when I feel good, my cat feels good, right? I realize that when my cat feels good, um, his fur becomes so soft and snuggly and so, so fine, soft and smooth, okay? Even... Even I realized to myself, um, and this is scientific also, if I feel good, my hair will feel really healthy, okay? So people, um, doctors or something, if, if you are stressed, the hair follicles, the hair, the, the, there is something in the hair that the scientists or the doctors would test for um, some type of hormone, some type of a stress hormone or whatever. Um, I've really forgot the name. I, I, I haven't been talking about this for a while. And you guys know I haven't been doing many videos, right? So I'm just saying that. Um, that dread and the fear and the panic that looms over you because of a person's presence they are intimidating you and they are threatening you so it's it's really like if you were raised by a toxic uh, masculine caretaker it could be a mother or a father and anytime you see that person and if you are an abused child you see that person and and even just wanting to look at that person, you just feel this dread. You're like, oh my god, it's like you're walking on eggshells, okay? So, you feel like sometimes some people that you meet makes you feel like you have to walk on eggshells. That they are so easily triggered that you have to be so polite, so obedient, so respectful, so... um like so giving so generous so all your virtues and you're you're basically a fucking slave in the presence you're you're basically somebody who is so beneath that person because you were groomed not to be even an equal human being you're like a rat or you're like you're being treated like you're nothing you're you're just shit or you're like um like this is a projection all the things that I'm saying to you, it's not true. You're not a rat. You're not a piece of shit. You're not like um, beneath any human or animal. You are just being projected with so much disgust or so much negativity and so much hatred and so much um, intimidation to make you fear and feel small. Because the issue is, it's lying. It lies in that sociopath or the toxic person or the psychopath. You are not a piece of shit. You are not um, small. Um, any of the bullies that you meet at work or at school or in your life in general or your family members, they want you to fear them. And, and if you are not conscious because you have been groomed for many years, okay, if you're not conscious... If you are not conscious, it means if you're not if you're not aware, the desire for them to threaten you, to intimidate you, to belittle you, to attack your self esteem, is for them to have that fucking sense of control and power, because they can't they can't have their own independent power without absorbing yours, 
and they have to cause you to feel fear so that they don't feel intimidated or oppressed or their insecurities around your presence so it's like a switch and bait trick so they switch the roles where they are in denial of their own um of their own energy pattern so if they're insecure about something they're going to lash out at you for having something that they don't have and then you start to feel small in regards to that situation like for example if that person is bald and you have hair they're going to lash out at you and say you're fucking bullshit like grizzly whatever and then and then you have to make yourself feel small so that you don't further intimidate uh or you don't further trigger them so that they will intimidate or threaten you you become smaller and your self esteem shrink and when your self esteem shrink your personal power shrink so all these people these toxic people so that's just one of a very lame example about being bald and having hair um if it applies to guys so if you actually um meet this person or if you know these people they actually project onto you their own issues if you really like the receipt or if you're the person on the receiving end of the toxic negative energy mistreatment bully harassment they are unhappy with their life and they take it out on you so many toxic parents who are unhappy with their lives they will take out take it out on you or they will use um their other children to take it out on you okay so their hands are clean but they're using their children's hand to attack their own children to to intimidate and earlier i said bait and switch right so when i share about bait and switch is like they they start they they have this one idea they have this one unsatisfying feeling with you and with, through that unsatisfying feeling they're going to attack you but they're going to play victim they're going to play the harassy and triggering you to attack them because you're not happy that they're not happy and then they're going to intimidate you they're going to threaten you and it's going to trigger you to um lose control so people their their only main game is for you to lose control when you lose control you'd say something wrong you'd cross them so that they can act and plan out whatever agenda they want to do like hit you because you were disrespectful or they will destroy your possessions because you ask for it you have acted out rudely to disrespect them so they lash out to destroy maybe your mobile phone whatever it is intimidate in the people who intimidate you is asking for a fight to trigger you to steal your power to harass you to make you feel insecure powerless helpless so that you will fight back so that you will engage with them to lower your energy standards so that that is an opening for them to lash out to you and make you feel even more inferior and small they need that release they are using you to release the tension in their life they are using you to release whatever bitterness sadness unhappiness um whatever it is that is going through with their unsatisfied emotion they're projecting to you and you are their outlet to take it out on you they're going to take out 
all their sad, shitty energy on you. In order to do that, they, they need to intimidate you, to threaten you, to aggravate you. It is a cycle where they will not stop. It's hard for them to stop, especially if they are cruel, especially if they have done it before to many other people and other people are blind to it and other people will defend this person, especially if they are narcissistic parental figures who have their own team of children who will defend them to attack their scapegoat children the black sheep because the black sheep is usually raised without support with nobody listening to their voice nobody asking how are you i know this is unfair i know this is not right no all of their children will be brainwashed and conditioned and they too have been harassed the same way, intimidated the same way, guilted, intimidated, harassed, harmed the same way. So, this may not apply to every everyone who is listening. But if you are coming from an, um, a situation where you have experienced traumatic abuse by your sociopathic family member, or peers, or co-workers, or friends, or um, romantic relationship, whatever it is. The intimidation and the threat is to ask for trouble. To trigger you, to feel your ego being disrespected. To get you to feel small, inferior, and wronged. Whatever it is, is to make you feel negative, to hook you, and to bait you and then to switch the roles and the reason they are switching the roles is that they can play victim only because they want to create a how do you say like a pitfall in your energy they want you to fall they want you to lose control to panic to um, lose your breath they want you to hyperventilate this has happened to me i hyperventilate every time uh, when i saw my mom um, when we f- fucking reconcile supposedly i hyperventilate and she would oh it, w- it was it was hard. I hyperventilate. I I lost. Um, I cannot feel even my feet. And I think she has done something to me, to cause me. Because when you're around this type of narcissistic people, they will cause you to to. Uh, not dopamine. What is it called? I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna search. Okay, I found it. It's called adrenaline or cortisol or norepinephrine. So the adrenaline rushes through you. And it is like when you are hyperventilating, the adrenaline in your blood, the stress in your blood is going th- through your heart or your head. And I couldn't feel my feet as I was sitting in front of her. I could feel her, like, this is a woman of revenge, okay? A woman who is revengeful. She will play victim. My dad is gone. She's done it again. And I haven't talked to her for many months. Um, And I know that she doesn't want me to have YouTube. She doesn't want me to have a voice. She doesn't want me to have money. She doesn't... I was like, am I going to go homeless? Am I going to live on the street? Is it the way that I need to go? Am I being dramatic? Am I being too much? No one understands how terrible this circumstance is. Okay? Because everybody has their blindfolds on thinking that their mother are perfect. 
that that like I was suicidal for fun. I ran away to New Zealand because um I'm I'm a stupid bitch or something. So listen, you may not respect me, whoever who you think you may think you are if you're not like a supporter, but this people who wants to intimidate others and to threaten others and to make other people hyperventilate and to switch the roles of victim so that it's like like every time i talk to her it will be her walking away feeling greater than me better than me stronger than me more powerful than me any conversation that is had between me and a toxic person especially the one that i have mentioned they want to make you feel small and this is a negative entity a demon of moloch the moloch demon is a demon of intimidation and to sacrifice they trigger and bait you to take something from you to take something from you meaning to take a reaction a response that makes you fall deeper into their control they brainwash you and they mind control you they brainwash everybody around you to be in control they are that sadistic to belittle you and then flip the switch to be the victim so that they can be seen as poor pathetic sympathize sympathy poor this person poor her like they will never be accountable for their own negativity they will never be responsible or accountable so in particular they believe that they are god toxic people unconsciously even though they are religious their ego made them believe they are god they are the almighty god who can trick people to attack their enemies even though their enemies are their own blood skin bones and daughters or sons they will do it they will attack their own children to prove a point for vengeance or revenge they will not back down even if their partners passed away even if their husband passed away even though their family member might kill themselves or will go homeless or will not eat for one month and almost die out of hunger or dehydration or whatever it is that they put onto this target's path they will do it because to them they have the power to manipulate people who are around them to do their bidding to attack their own children and they're using their own children to attack their own children and these children are blind they don't see that they're attacking someone who is related to them and there is one thing that i said even though they believe they are not wrong that they cannot be punished that there will be no karma even though they believe there will be no karma the universe or god that i believe in has something to repay for their deeds whatever they believe it is evil or good the universe has a mirror to reflect to them the energy they put to us the energy that they put on to us the abuse the threats the intimidation to make us feel inferior small and secure they have a bigger demon of their own in their own life path in their own path they're calling for a bigger demon their action is calling for a bigger demon they will meet other bigger bigger demons meaning that they will have life experiences 
where someone will do that to them. I have seen um, these people being disrespected, being manipulated. And I have seen them manipulate and disrespect others. So, honestly, what you do will come back to you no matter if you believe in God or not. So, toxic people who intimidate people to threaten these people, to threaten any people, even if there is their own child, there will be... It will come back to them in a circle, in like a wheel of fortune. All the things that they do will come back to them. No matter what. No matter what. It's been test. It's not even been test. But it's how life is. Karma is like a big circle. What comes around goes around. Correct? So they don't believe what comes around goes around. They don't, they don't re- realize it. They believe that they can get away from it. Over and over and over and over again. But it's false so adrenaline cortisols so earlier on i mentioned about how um the hair will carry cortisol the stress hormones and people will check um the hair i think it's maybe due to stroke or whatever medical circumstance to check the stress hormones through the hair but yeah so it's um okay let me gather my words so in order for you guys if you have found this video about people who intimidate you people who want to threaten you people who play this game over and over again and to tell you the truth It is fucking annoying, okay? It's like... It's like chat-chat. It's like... Disabled. Mentally... It's like... A mentally disabled person... Is... Pointing a dagger at you saying... Fucking play this game with me or else I'll kill you. So it's, it's like... If you play, you get killed. If you don't play, you get killed. Or if you play, you get hurt. If you don't play, you get hurt. There's no way you can fucking win with a fucking person who is mentally disabled, triggering you to give a negative reaction so that they can suck your energy and make you feel powerless, helpless. And so it's like they are projecting their own debilitating mental train of thoughts. The way people treat you can reveal so much about their mental health. So, as much as we try to be responsible for ourselves, some people don't want to be responsible for their their self and they will lash out to anyone who threatens their fucking power. They will lash out. They will plan, they will they will resort to hiring shaman, hiring black magician, paying paying someone to do something to their target because they cannot feel triggered or intimidated or have their ego challenged. They cannot have their ego challenged. So if they can't have their ego challenged, they will take that act of rebel from you for not giving them negative reaction, for ignoring them, for dismissing them, for blocking them, for not talking to them. They will hold that grudge and they will turn it into revenge and they will start planning some bullshit to cause you harm. So this is where you need to just fucking disconnect and just focus on yourself. If it happens, fucking let it happen. If it makes you fall, if it makes you sabotage yourself, 
It's okay. You just have to nurture your emotion to be more resilient, to be more strong, to be more bulletproof from their negative shoot, like shooting you with negative energy, negative opinions, comments, remarks, negative behavior to make you upset, to harass you, to annoy you, to trick you. To make you feel like you need to hyperventilate or have a panic attack or more, so you have to understand that this is a trick that they need to do. So there are many levels and layers that you need to uh, master, so that you can. Work your way to become immune to their attacks, and even though they they are attacking you, as long as the certain attacks cannot um cannot be like used as a reason for you to make a police report, then you know just carry on with your day, but. You can、um, jot down in your life what had happened on that date, and、um, maybe even how you feel after, and how you choose not to be affected by this nasty behavior that is violence or violating your right to have a peaceful life, and the the. The right for you to be happy. Some people feel their ego is very challenged whenever they see a peaceful, happy, and serene person, because they cannot get there because they have some fucking form of jealousy or some fucking form of bitterness or envy to just not be happy for anybody else when they are not happy themselves. So anytime some bullshit happen to you in your life when you're surrounded by toxic people or toxic environment, write it down as a proof that you're not the crazy one. People around you are behaving in a nasty way to trigger you to act out, to react negatively, so that they can play the victim and to call you out what is wrong with them. So. Most of the time, if people lose their shit, is only because the people around them is shit. You're not responsible to take Lexapro or any fucking antidepressant pills. The person around you who's intimidating, harassing you to trigger you to lose control is the one who has the issues. You don't have to buy their lies. You don't have to accept. Their domination over your soul or spirit. You can understand their intimidation is a tactic or a technique to curtail you from feeling free, from feeling happy, and from feeling good, because they don't have a fucking good bone in their fucking soul, and their desire and need to push you down and to crumble you is the fucking fact that they are fucking crumbled. Somebody cannot pass an emotion that doesn't already exist within them, and you have to understand that your emotions, even if you can feel some emotions, sometimes it's not yours. Sometimes it is from the abuser, repressed by the other abuser in their life, that they cannot fight back, that they cannot have a say no. That they cannot stand up to because it could be somebody that they are deemed to have fucking respect for, like their fucking parents. Sometimes it may be their husband or their fucking elderlies. So, any emotions that is being passed down like a fucking toxic MLM for family, like this trauma is being passed down from parents to. Fucking elder siblings to their fucking younger siblings, or from the bosses to their employees, and from the employees to their fucking family members, and their family members carry that trauma. 
trauma is being passed down we are fucking blind to it and we don't have to carry this demon of intimidation around like a fucking bag sack of fucking stones heavy fucking stones on our back we don't have to carry this anymore we can release it when we realize this intimidation cannot harass me this threat from this human cannot make me feel small if they want so much that i act small okay fine i'll act small around you but after this i won't act small around you you want me to act small i'll act small but i won't stay small for you why do you need to control so much so eventually if there is um witness to their behavior towards you to trigger you to act small to de- like they are behaving as if they demand you to be small they will reprimand you belittle you over zero things their attitude and behavior is very pro- problematic and people will see and become witness to this and eventually they will out themselves out for being um irrational for being mentally unstable for being problematic that they are the ones who always have a problem you're just doing your own thing you don't ask them for anything you learn not to ask them for anything you learn to stay away from problematic people because you you had to walk on eggshells because around these people their ego is very triggered whenever you feel safe you feel free you feel comfortable in your skin they don't like that they don't like you smiling happy or being peaceful and how is that like i'm 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 leaning on to this ideology of their religion how is that a peaceful religion if they want to harass their own children so much and using their other children's i speechless so to come to the ending of this you will learn so much about people when you know their intimidation is a reveal of their own fear projection towards you when you understand your own fear and to separate what is not your fear your path becomes clear and any action you take from your faith cannot be underwrite from the fear and intimidation projected from your family friends or peers and strangers so when you realize their action to attack you to make you feel those fears that never originated from you you become conscious and aware that i don't have to feel like this i really don't understand the source of this person trying to make me feel small i i know that this must come from them themselves and it's not going to be passed down to me or passed to me as anything that i will pass to others i will stop that chain of abuse i will be aware and i will not absorb all the negative emotions that is being passed to me to make me feel inferior small i will not absorb it instead i will become very immune and neutralize it and even though i may not be 100% immune to it maybe sometimes i don't have the strength to endure the verbal abuse or the negative projection or the mind control or the brainwashing or the verbal bashing sometimes i will break down it will be temporary for me because i'm going to go back up i'm going to be resilient i'm going to say okay this is called a mind control this is called brainwashing i will not let the people around me around me control um how i see myself how i feel about myself and the truth about myself the sabotage from unsupportive people around me needs to stop and i need to support myself even though i know sometimes the inner critic within me wants to self sabotage because 
it's hearing all the negative energy projection around me louder than my inner faith. So my inner faith will need to work really hard. I will need to believe in myself harder than ever so that I can break the cycle, that I can be happy, that I can cut from this toxic energies and just fucking lead a happy life even though it's it's like breaking all my nails breaking all my bones breaking all my parts of my body breaking all my teeth breaking all my brains breaking all my fucking human cells in my conscious spirit body even though it breaks all part of me i need to fucking give in to my self-belief because i need to cut this cycle of abuse and to literally get out of this toxic environment to some of you you may have tried to go no contact and then you reconcile go no contact then reconcile and it's gonna gonna be over it's not gonna be over okay sometimes it's not gonna be over because because things happen and you might go back to square one where you feel fucking trapped and you feel that you don't have any support and you're back to the place that you never want to be in in the first place and you guys may know what is going on and you know you have to like learn to believe in yourself stronger than the self-sabotage or the sabotage from the surrounding they may not want you to have a business the people around you may not want you to have any money to begin with they want you to suffer they want you to feel small they want you to suffer they want you to to just fucking be punished for being disrespectful and that's their ego just because you don't want to listen to them anymore that you need it to be punished no matter what you didn't listen you need to be punished they remove all their amount of humanity all the amount of their um, compassion humanity is gone just to cause you harm because you were disrespectful you will be beaten up I'm, i'm recalling when i was 16 i don't want her to keep verbally abusing me and then later what happened she got my father to hit me repetitively until i call upon god and when I said this to the inspector in the police department, she said, you should have made a police report. And I said, I didn't know that I could make a police report because of that. So this has happened before. And it has caused me to almost fail my last year in high school. Some humans are not humans but they mask themselves with a mother figure a mother face the title of a mother but they're not mothers my dad is gone i don't know how like you know some some toxic people would abuse their um partners like their husbands you guys have no idea how much i realized that he was suffering because nobody was taking care of him his house was filled with cobwebs he was bitten by a rat or something sharp a few weeks before he died nobody was taking care of him and I visit him like six months before he passed away. And then I moved back like a week before he passed. And I didn't know he was going to pass. So, you know, the universe may have some fucking plan. But what I can share with you guys is that um, the demon Moloch. The demon is just basically a form of behavior that lives like an evil behavior within some human. You know, 
and they they leeches off of people's security, confidence, empowerment. They don't want you to feel secure, stable, empowered. To to feel you have a choice, they want you to feel helpless, powerless, panic, hyperventilate, losing your shit, losing control. They just want to make you break. If this is her goal, if this is her or his goal to any one of you who have this kind of people in your life, I I wish you the best because even for me, it's a fucking big issue. But what comes around will go around, and if I don't know if they will ever stop, but. I will never wonder. They can keep continuing, and I can keep like bashing my head against the wall, trying to figure out what the fuck am I going to do, right? But I will stop myself from bashing my head against the wall and kind of like pause myself and say, "What is my plan?" Even if the plan will fail, even if I don't have that self belief that matches the faith that I need for me to get out of this circumstance plan. What can I do? You have to do what you can do, even if you don't believe that it's gonna work. And maybe eventually one thing will work out for you, okay? So anyone out there who feels that. Their life is fucking shit, right? It's okay. My life is shit too. We can have a shitty life together, but just don't lose faith in yourself. You know, it's not hard to be happy, but it's fucking hard to be happy around toxic people who wants to keep you down. So just make space. For that to happen, that you have to、um, feel like, okay, there's a reality that I need to create that she feels safe in, that I am that fucking small failure. I don't know, disrespectful, stupid girl, and then you can create another life where you're like, she doesn't. Have to be in it. That she doesn't have anything to do with it, or any of that. Is it she or he or both or all of them? Just, just understand that you have that decision. No matter how powerless or helpless you feel, you have that decision. And to decide to have faith and to believe in yourself, that one day you'll get out, and everything is going to change. And whatever, however much money you need or people you might need, they're going to be there. That it is possible for the money you need, the people you need, the circumstance you need will arrive. Because what comes around goes around. If you've been doing very good things in your life, believe that you're going to get good things. And what was that thing that I shared in my previous video? I said something about. Um. Huh? I forgot. Something about. Okay, let me check. Intimidate you. The the demon Moloch wants to intimidate you. So, just understand that you have a choice, not to feel their fears. And slowly, you become immune. To their tactics, techniques, and you will no longer be frozen in fear or being fawn, 
being a deer in the headlights, you will no longer feel dreadful. Ah, yes, I remember now. So instead, you have to feel extra positive. Twist that energy around to reflect the opposite of what they want. When they try to intimidate you to feel fear, maybe you can just be so sarcastic and say, I'm fucking afraid that I'm going to pee myself. Or, I am so shit scared that I will scream the sh- my lungs out. I am so fucking scared, I'm going to scream right now. So basically, if you um, kind of like turn around that intimidation into entertainment it's hard at first but you can try it yeah you can definitely try it turn that intimidation into entertainment and then you will realize that you have a choice do you want to be a victim actress actor in their narration of life or do you want to be in control of your narrative in your life story that you will not partake or participate in their calling you to act out a play that makes you a negative role player in their negative fucked up universe life because you decide that hey i'm going to choose the energy i put into my 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 life i'm not going to invest any energy around toxic people i'm not going to pay them any attention i'm not going to give them my energy by responding i'm going to um understand that they probably have issues that they need to um process and come aware of but i'm not going to help them to see anything because it's not my responsibility I must only take care of what I can do to myself because I am not going to go down trying to help someone up because it has happened before, it has happened repetitively and with stubborn people who have ego, um, ego such as that, it's impossible for me to offer any help or be part of it so i must only focus on what i can which is believing in myself and supporting myself instead of self-sabotaging myself from the negative projection and just to live my life even if i'm i may not have that circumstances resolved what comes around goes around one day even if the energy that i do to build something for myself fails at least i fucking tried and you don't have to feel fear threatened or dreadful anymore guys because you can understand these emotions don't belong to you but for you to to process those layers um i believe that you could learn how to do so and if you need to do it you can do you can have like sessions with me and i know that um as you know i always share from what i learn from my experiences so i can offer you some support and help if you feel that my um advice or recommendation is helpful because we guy we all can do this together we can support each other and um, eventually there will be a light at the end of the tunnel and the tunnel may seem non-existent at the moment but it should be fine at least we try okay guys so that's it that's from me um let me know what you think i know this is like very strict or very um passionate video and you guys can't see me but you guys can see my little note here that i sent to myself so i i hope that this helps you in whatever ways that you may need i hope that this will help you to ease out the brainwashing conditioning that you may have that triggers you in a cycle of um self-damnation into a cycle of self 
approval and self support so that you can get out of that um situation so another i want to repeat from my old video the reason people want to intimidate you they just want to see you fail they just want to derail you from the path of greatness that you deserve that they believe they 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 do this because they know that you're going to get somewhere they don't invest so much hate into you if they don't know that they're going to get somewhere you're going to get somewhere where they're going to be gone in your life and they know that they don't deserve to be in your life after you find your success because they never supported it and they never want it for you because it's just not their in their nature in their heart to have any good heart or good bone in their body so they know you're going somewhere they know that you have something that they never have that ability to have or to nurture so they needed to do their best to just derail you and make you fail make you sabotage yourself make you like harm yourself just even to the point that they want you to kill yourself and mock you for trying to kill yourself and that is going to um that's the courtesy of a person who shares the same blood as me and the same gender who is in the same family tree as me who mock my suicide um what comes around goes around she never apologized so no matter what these people don't apologize because they will never admit they've done wrong but you don't have to be hung up on their apologies they can continue being that sick sad person that they need to be in order to feel powerful but for some of us we need to live better than the people who are using others to damn them condemn them and hurt them just so that they can feel strong uh you are not helpless you are not powerless but you can help yourself out so it's kind of like a brainwashing and a mind numbing and a perspective cancelling they don't want you to see that if you change your behavior into positivity if you have positive traits if you start believing in yourself if you start putting efforts in taking care of yourself and loving yourself and having better standards in yourself that you have that self esteem to attract positive people in your life that will help you build a life that you want in your life they don't want you to see that you can do it and you have to see that you can do it because you have done it before in some ways or another i know you've done it before you have had made good decisions in your life that give you the positive rewards but some self sabotage happened to you because they derailed you from your path they want you to self sabotage they want to threaten your income they want to threaten your happiness they want to threaten your peace they want to threaten your self improvement they did whatever they did You can forgive them, you can feel whatever you need to feel about them, but you need to build yourself up again. So be resilient, believe in yourself, lean into that self-belief. Lean into that self-belief harder than anything you've ever done. This is a risk. If you don't do this, there's no way that you can deal with anything. you have to do this you have to lean into that self belief that you must believe in yourself so that you can build that life up so that these toxic people cannot drown you with dread anymore you have that choice and you can see your way out and no one can take that vision from you that you can exit from their abuse by loving yourself enough that you did what you must so that you can exit their abuse and take your life out of the equation that they've been some summing up as dictating you to compel them as a dictator in your life There is no more tyrant in your life. Believe in yourself and exit your way out of this toxic cycle. Believe in yourself. 
you can do it. I know you can because we will do it together. So my name is Meredith Mindros. I'm a universal healer and a peace visionary. For now, on to another better day. I will see you again. Goodbye.